How to control FPS or speed by using request animation frame? Well, we can use set interval or set timeout methods, but request animation frame gives very high quality animation. It won't give any flickers or frame skips, but if we use set interval or set timeout, you mostly get these common errors. So request animation frame is more better than set interval or set timeout. I created a folder called FPS Controller. In this folder we have two files index.html and main.js. Let's open them in Visual Studio. Let's get our basic template, HTML template. Here we go, we get this. Now, <coughs> now create canvas using canvas tag. If you don't know what is canvas, there's a link in description, go and check it. Now let's let's link our main.js file using script tag. Then let's go to our main.js, let's work here where canvas is equal to document.quality selector we are grabbing the canvas tag using this quality selector here we go we get the canvas now now about contest c is equal to canvas.getContest2d now we can draw anything on canvas now give some height and width to our canvas using canvas.width is equal to window.innerwidth this gives whole width and whole height to our canvas uh, oops error oh uh, we should not put where there let's remove it now let's give our height to canvas canvas dot height is equal to window dot inner height okay now everything is done now let's create a box and try to move it so we are going to write c dot fill rect and it takes four parameters x y width height x and y denotes the position of the box and we have to give some width and height there where x is equal to let's say 100 y is equal to 100 where width is equal to 50 height is equal to 50 now it's a perfect square square at 100 comma 100 let's refresh okay we got the box now let's try to move it let's set a function move right We are incrementing the x value. Now it will move. Let's put this line in function. Okay, let's call our function in request animation frame. You know request animation frame. Request animation frame method tells the browser that you wish to perform an animation. The method takes a callback as a as an argument to be invoked before paint. So function animate request animation frame. We're calling the animate function in request animation frame now let's call our move right function in animate function now our box will move in defaults fps 60 fps let's run it let's run this in google okay you guys can see now it's moving with 60 fps now how can we control this like if that box want to move in 30 fps or you should move slowly or it should move in 120 fps how can we control this we have to do something so so there's a simple technique we can use our time so then we have to I'm, I'm creating a variable called then we are assigning date not date dot now this method will give us the time when this code is then when this piece of code is executed let's see in the console then Okay, let's open our Chrome. To open, <coughs> let's see, let me refresh. To open our console, Control plus Shift plus I. You guys can see it. It is not changing. Even it is moving. It is not. Uh, time is not changing. It is the time when it is executed. Now let's create another variable called now. Now go to our animate function. Now assign dead dot now to variable now. To understand this, let me put now in console.log open uh, open google chrome refresh it it is constantly changing we have to use this now now we have two variables then and now then is 
then is the time when the code is executed and now is the time it is constantly changing with our present time now let's make the difference difference is equal to now minus then let me put difference in console you will understand now now we use this difference as a stopwatch or a timer to control our speed or fps let's try it if condition now let's try it if condition to print high for every second if difference is greater than 1000 it means one second console dot log let me write it yeah 1000 in the sense one second console dot log high so let me open it in chrome now refresh now see this high is executed after one second but we don't need this high should execute for every one second so just put this line then is equal to now now open in chrome again refresh it high you can see now for every second we are printing high there let me give another example let's use count let's print count incrementing count here and we are creating variable count now now we, we will get an output like one two three for every second one two after one second we were getting like this now let's apply this on our box take this move rate function and paste it in if condition it should move after every one second like now it will move very slowly yeah it's moving now see this is how we have to control if uh, request animation frame now we can we can we can give whatever fps we want if we go if we give, if we give 60 fps it will go in 60 fps if we give let's say 4 fps it will move for it will move in 4 fps this is how we have to control request animation frame method let us say if we have two boxes we should move these two boxes in different fps or in different speeds let me let me create another box x1 is equal to 100 and y1 is equal to 200 having same width and same height and this also this box also will move right x1 plus plus c dot fill rect x1 y1 and width and height let's call move function in if condition this let me show you in chrome the now these two boxes will move in with same speed but we ha we should we have to move these two boxes with the different speed let us say first box should move in 1 fps and second box should move in 60 fps how can we do this we have to use constructor if you don't know what is constructor there's a link in description go and check it remove all this code we don't want this code now and let's try to make a constructor i don't want this line to okay everything is good now function fps controller let's make underscore okay function appear this function takes sorry this constructor takes two parameters one is callback function and fps this is variable this dot callback function is equal to callback function and this dot fps is equal to fps just we are rewriting the same code if you don't understanding uh, this constructor i highly recommend you to watch watch my video which is link in description this dot animate 
is equal to is a function and it will take request animation frame let's let's make arrow function okay request animation frame and it will take this dot animate in as parameter call the animate function and in in this animate this dot now is equal to now date dot now this dot difference is equal to this dot now minus this dot then then if this dot difference is greater than this dot interval this dot interval is one second we will assign it later by fps this dot fps okay now this dot callback function we call there this dot then is equal to this dot now this dot interval is equal to 1000 we are assigning here okay now everything is over everything is done now let's create two different fpss or two different speeds for our boxes where let's say a a is equal to new fps controller fps controller okay it takes move right function and uh, 60 fps oh yeah we said one our first box should move in one fps and box and box two should move right in 60 fps okay now let's open in google yeah now see box two is moving in 60 fps and box one is moving in one fps this is how we control fps or speed when we use request animation frame now go to whatsapp join the discussion like this video, subscribe and ring the notification bell. God out.